Hey, Nomkins, hope you're doing really well today. This is Senses Midnight. It is a sequel to Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. I tried playing this on Steam and ran into quite a few technical issues and um, just issues with the game overall. But the devs have updated it and actually directly communicated with me, taking to my feedback into account, which is really nom of them. So uh, let's check out Senses Midnight, the full game, and see what happens. Hey, Nomkins. I want to thank our Patreon supporter Gruntlay for bringing this video. Thank you so much, Gruntlay, for the amazing support. As always, you adorable numpkin you. Thank you so much. Also, shout out to Alice, our producer, for making these long plays possible. Gonna try and bring you a bunch of them this month, and I hope you guys will enjoy. Anyway, put your feet back and relax and enjoy a full playthrough here of Senses Midnight. Some say the spirits only exist for as long as the living believe in them. But does the supernatural gain power? From belief? Can a spirit vanish for good if it is forgotten? Or do ghosts long forgotten just wait for us in the dark corners of our cities? Ikebukura Japan, October 12th, 2085. So we play a live streamer in this, guys? And here is Kaho, our uh, protagonist here, who has a very unique design. Okay, uh, if you didn't see in the text chat there on the side of the screen, the live stream chat, we are here to find the midnight door and prove the truth of the horrifying urban legend. It is a bad idea, as you will find out shortly. <sighs> Kaho? I'm okay. The gap I squeezed through, it just collapsed. I won't be able to get out of the park this way. There should be another exit on the west side of the park. It's actually closer to where the midnight door should be. Think it's unlocked? Even if it's not, it's an actual gate, you can find a way out there easier than here. Maybe head there first and confirm an exit strategy? Just in case? Good idea. Go past the playground, then follow the walkway south. Be careful too, security may have been alerted by the noise you just made. Okay, I'm heading there now. This game has like quite a lot of side content and things like that too that I'm gonna probably not do, but still. Hey guys, check this out. Oh cool, looks like the old school gacha tokens. Some shops still use them in the old shopping districts. You should grab it, it might bring you good luck. Good idea. Just remember, your backpack is really small and basically useless. This is true, you have four inventory slots. You have pretty limited space to hold things. Yeah, I can only fit four items inside. You can probably just put anything you don't want to carry down somewhere. You're likely alone in the park, so no one will know you're littering. Plus, if you need to come back for it, I doubt anyone is going to show up and take anything lying around. That is true, but there are unpleasantness we're going to have to deal with. Anyway, so these gacha coins here, we found one here, right, item get, are used for this machine here, this gacha machine. Uh, this is to unlock an alternate outfit, and it is pretty much, not useless, because I think it's like a sexy swimsuit outfit, but um, there's no point in taking the coins anywhere except leaving them by the gacha machine for later on. We have a map here. Find a map of the park, the interface from the city is making my PDA's GPS unable to scan it for reference. I'll have to check it out here when I'm not sure where to go. I don't like this, you should always have a map with you in these games. Um, it doesn't add to anything, and if you're trying to replicate the, the PS1, PS2 era, they all had maps. All of them. You know. So what's the whole story here again? Oh, they're, they're talking too fast. Basically, to summarize, if you're got by the ghost that lives behind the midnight door, an infestation of centipedes appears and you vanish. Why centipedes? You'll see. It's going to be lovely. The sign here shows the rules of the park, typical stuff, no skateboards or bikes, food only allowed at designated areas, and watch out for perverts. I love the way that's typical stuff in Japan. They forgot the one about not doing curse rituals at midnight. Oh... Anyway, so there's a door here that we can't open until much later, I think. I couldn't figure out how to open this when I tested it. 
Here's a weird chain link tunnel thing here. Product just left over from the reconstruction attempt. I heard they were going to add a covered walkway, but a few of the construction crew went missing and the project was abandoned. In any case, I might be able to loop back around if I can get this gate open. The only problem is I can't unhook the latch from this side. Well, let's see if we can get that far this time around. Oh, there's a little snake or something there that went across the path. Totes adorbs. I will say I think the camera transition movements in this are kind of obnoxious. Hey, Kaho, don't forget to check out your PDA camera. I upgraded this firmware with a custom application. You should be able to capture energy signatures the naked eye cannot. What? When did you do that? And when did I give you permission to mess with my PDA? Last Thursday at lunch. Kaho. Try it out. Let's see if it actually works. Okay, but I'm still mad about you tricking me into messing with my stuff. That's fine. You won't remember by the time you get back to the States anyway. You suck. Lol, 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 lol. Okay, so this is something I never really figured out how to do, but you can take pictures of ghosts, Fatal Frame style, um, using the camera. You can also look in first person and stuff. Listen carefully for a strange noise given off only by the spirits too weak to walk on our plane. I, c I have yet to hear this noise. The camera's viewfinder is capable of seeing their faded shadow turning the reticle red. Okay. So there are 22 spirit photographs to find in the park. These are all optional from what I can tell, and they tell like their own little stories, which is nice. Um, but... So far, spotting them has been tricky. So here's the camera app. You cannot walk around in the camera mode, which is something else I don't like. Though that said, you're not... F There's one there. Oh my god, that's the first time I've seen one. But I don't see... It's not red, you know what I mean? So I don't know why... Do I just have to go right up to the fence? There you go, I do. You have to get really close. Oh, that's cool. Check the photos tab on your PDA to see the photo more. Okay. That was actually cool. So I guess we can keep an eye out for those and see if we can find some more of them. Pretty fun little mechanic. Akoa Shinbun. Someone, th someone else reads it here. It's my favorite magazine. It's my favourite horror and occult-themed tabloid, too. By calling it tabloids unfair, as all the stories within are 100% factual. Maybe we should send our findings in? You might get famous, Kaho. 82 years ago, the bustling it town at Vikabakuro was a bit more slow-paced than mysterious. At this time, you would be forgiven for thinking of Vikabakuro as a train stop on the way to the much more exciting Shinjuku, or Akihabara. But before Ikebakuro grew into what we see it is as today, it was gripped by a dark secret that would take decades to unravel. Even today, some parts of Ikebakura remain unexplored, as if intentionally forgotten or sectioned off by the gods themselves. Perhaps the older among you remember the legend? Did you ever hear her call? Have you ever felt your skin go cold as a corpse at the sight of a centipede in the night? Have you visited the midnight door? Well, this is what we're here for, so we're going to be soon. I guess that wasn't a snake that went across the path. It was obviously a centipede. All right, we need a code to get in here, so we're going to leave that for now. Something I never really did do when I was playing before was go off the beaten path a bit. So I think there's actually quite a few places you can do that, and it might be where I missed some key items that I needed. But, you know. For now, let's just keep looking around. I don't think any really important items are going to be currently available. I think we have to trigger, like, the story events that are going to continue the story. But we'll see. I'll try and grab a few things if I can. Is that something? Another Koa Shinbun. In the year 2003, several teenagers hanging out at the Ikebukuro Walking Park noticed the door to the nearby public toilet was sealed shut. Forcing the door open, they found the body of a young woman who had recently hung herself inside. However, her badly decomposed body was further damaged by both the jolt from forcing the door open, but also an infestation of centipedes that had begun eating away at the corpse, causing her head and spinal column to be pulled from the body. The teenagers took pictures and posted them online forum, which quickly dubbed her Okiku. Oddly though, all the photos taken displayed the time that the teens estimated that they opened the door, exactly 12am. Over the following four days, all six of the teens who opened the door disappeared, and each of their homes experienced extreme centipede infestations. 
Spooky dooky. That pram was move. Uh, the pram. <laughs> the swing was moving by itself there. This is what I mean by the angles, by the way. They're very jarring. Was that another coin, or what was it? So there's two types of coins in this. Um, one we need to solve a puzzle, and one we need for this. Are you almost there? Okay, we're passing the playground. Just keeping them updated on where we are. I do wish the game wouldn't do that quite as, like, vividly. Um, because uh, you can't keep pace with the dialogue. It's just like, boom, 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 done. You know, and I don't like that at all. Just a few things here that were going to be important later on that I just want to take note of, if that's all right. This thing here is going to be important for a puzzle. And there should be a rag somewhere around here, but I can't remember where it is. We'll find it later on. It's not a big deal right now. Um, this, um, Jesus, the camera angles are so awful um this umbrella here there's an umbrella as you can see here uh this is um for a side quest this is what broke my game last time and made it unfinishable so i'm just gonna leave it for now maybe we'll do it but it isn't that good anyway and it seems like quite a waste of time in the grand scheme of things right, let's head over here should be a radio We got another coin. Oh, no, we got one of the other coins I was talking about, which is good, because we definitely need those to get through this. There's a battery-operated radio playing on the table. I never figured out what to do with this, but, um, yeah. That eyeball symbol, I think, is new from when I last played. Shows you what you can interact with, which is very handy. Anyway, let's move on. And head back to the main path. That may have saved me some problems later on, which is good. The midnight door is just here on the left, but I don't think we can do anything with it right away. Oh, hi there. I believe the instance here is the door, like, is, um, uh, like, the front of where the public toilets used to be, and they've been knocked down. That makes sense? So it's just, like, that part of the structure left, the curse part. 4608 is a code we're going to need for later on. So please bear that in mind, everyone. We have another gacha token. I'll take these back to the entrance at some point off camera. This game's gonna have a lot of me going back and forth that I'm gonna trim out for this video. Um... But, uh, we'll see how things go. Oh. A little wibbly wobbly wibble wobble there. Alright, so we have this gate here that we need to open at some point. You should find the exit in Midnight Door first. Don't go wandering around yet. Yeah, Coho, just because my dad's a cop doesn't mean you should put me in a position to call in a favor. Boo, you guys are no fun. Stay focused, please. Alright. Well, we can't go over there yet. There are various items we need from over there. But there is something here already. What is this? Are they all... No, we have two of the other coins now. That's good. I think we need five of those total for the puzzle. I could never find the last one last time. So um, finding more is good. We've got another map here if we need to use that as reference. And here's the west exit gate. The exit gate is shut and looks locked. See any security system nearby? I doubt they have an off-site control. The security system is likely in the park somewhere close to the gate. I'll look around. Maybe go to the ritual with the midnight door first. That way you can get the evidence in case security shows up and kicks you out. Good idea. I'll go to the midnight door then. Before we do that, let's look at this panel here. The exit system of this park is insane. Just for the record. I found a security pad. It looks like it's for the gate. Good. Now go to the ritual at the midnight door. We can worry about the gate afterwards. Okay, so this is... You will, you'll see. The, the main objective of this game is to get out the park once everything is going to go to shit very soon. And opening that door is going to prove to be... Far more complicated than 
probably any door that you have come across in history. I need to remember the code urgently for a second. You see, you see a Kiku is up there, 4608. Just need to remember that, otherwise I'm in shit. Yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. They have increased her movement speed, by the way. She was very slow when we first played, and now she's uh, faster. But they have increased Akiku's movement speed, too, so that's going to be fun. The midnight door, all ready to be opened up. Do not open that door. What the? Who's this? How'd you get into our group chat? Abe-san, get rid of them. I already tried. The kick button's grayed out. I'm trying to help you people. Do not open that door, no matter what. I'll be there soon. Whatever, creep. Kaho, just go ahead. It's probably all fake anyway. This is probably just the weirdo that stares at you in class. Okay, Yosh. Doing the ritual now. Damn it, you idiots! Well. We're about to get fucked, guys. The doorknob doesn't even nudge anymore. Guess we're not getting proof tonight. Probably not. Well, I guess you may as well find a way to open the gate and get out of there. I'm sure you can find something somewhere in the park. Probably can. What a bummer. Hey, you aren't the one risking a deadly curse. Fair point. Maybe head to the center rest area of the park. You may find a way to open the gate there. Sure, I'll head there now. That's what we just saw there, the, uh, the place with 4608. I'm interesting to see how hard this is going to be now that she's faster, because she was pretty difficult to avoid as it was, and it's a one-hit kill. Oh lord, she coming. The fence is locked with a combination lock. Any ideas? We got nothing. You can ha can't hack it. We're talking about Kaho-san here, Sakura. Good point. I'll look around for the code. So we know what the code is. It's. Don't know why this isn't working. Oh, okay. Four. Six. Zero. Eight. And the game auto saves there, which is very handy, and hopefully we'll do it more in the future. Because we're about to have fun times with the lovely Akiki. Guys, I just heard. What is every? What is it? Everything okay? Never mind. I'm on my way to the rest area. You need to get to the shrine at the top of the hill. It's just ahead of you. Get there now. What? Why? Who are you? Just listen and go. Run. So it's very hard sometimes to gauge where a Kiku is, but you have to beat her by like uh zigzagging essentially. That is like the way to uh avoid her. I died. Um very difficult to avoid her here. We just got to say so, so it's no big deal. And you get to see her I, I don't really know what she does, but she drags us through the midnight door. You have died. So yeah, um this is one of the game's biggest flaws is Akiku is so difficult to con to control. Like she's she's really hard to control. And you can't skip this cutscene, so we have to watch it every time, guys. Isn't that wonderful? Alright, so yeah, um, dodging her is going to be tricky. You can get things that stop it being a one-hit kill, um, which is very handy, but um, at the moment, we don't have one, so we'll be here a while. Actually, what the fuck is she? Oh, there she is. I was going to say. I'm in trouble. Oh no, maybe not. She got a bit lost.
So Akiku, I will say, she doesn't show up very often. She shows up like once every like 10 minutes or so, so it's not like that obnoxious. But there are unpleasant things we have to deal with. I can't believe it. It's real. Everything okay? Yeah, I... The curse, it's real. I gotta get away from here, but barely. I tried to warn you to stop you from opening the door. All you can do now is stay safe and avoid her. Get to the shrine at the top of the hill first. I'll be there soon. Chisato, can you get in touch with your father? Let him know what's going on and that Kaho might need help? I will try, but I don't think I'll be able to get through for a few hours. He's on call. Kaho, for now, listen to what this person says and try and find a way out the park. Sounds good. Alright, so Akiku is now active. I don't think they can come up into this area. This is like the sacred area, though we'll have other ghosts here later on for some reason. Um, but this is where you need to go to save. The game only has the one save point, which is fairly obnoxious, but it is what it is. We got three of those coins now. I feel like I definitely had less than that last time, so that's a fairly good start, I feel. We've got uh, a lighter here that I have no idea what this is for. Um, don't know what it's for. Find out at some point, presumably. And we found another gacha token. While there's no ghost here, I'm just going to double check everywhere. Because later on, this place is going to become a nightmare to navigate, so... You've got to be on your toes, guys. Alright, let's go. I'm pretty sure this was on the ghost photo, right? Like, was there a ghost here on the ghost photo? It felt like there was. Maybe. It could have just been an example. But we'll see. that one? That is one. Do you see them? They're like wobbly in a bit there. Unless it's a bit of a plant. I guess it could be a bit of a plant. Uh, I can't see him now, so maybe it was a bit of a plant. Oh well, never mind. So here we have a Magatama. It's made out of jade. It reminds me of a necklace my mother gave me. Amazing, you should carry it with you just in case. They said to protect you from dark energy. So these Magatamas are designed to save you from ghost attacks. Primarily a Kiku, according to the devs, but the problem I had is the other ghosts are so persistent that I never used it on a Kiku. So Kiku was always a one-shot still. And that's meant to demonstrate that. You scared the ghost away. Spooky dooky, uwu. -woo. Hey Shiho, what's up? I think you were right about the Magatama. Well, yeah. What else would try and sell Blessed Magatama for protection? If you find any more, you should pick them up. Will do. You can pick up a bunch of them and they count as a different inventory slot, which is nice. Gonna say a prayer? The Kami might protect you if you do. Yeah, it's been so long since I visited the shrine and where overdue. Moving to the American Republic for school probably didn't help, huh? I guess so, but where else could I study parapsychology? Seriously. Dr. Bagans? Is that- I always- I said this before on the first playthrough I did on stream. Is this a Zach Bagans reference? The Dr. Bagans lecture at Wasida really impacted you, huh? Well, that and my best friend picking the school he teaches at for her org tech degree. Yeah, lol. Though I wish you'd come to the pool and tan with me. What's the point of living in Miami if you don't enjoy the sun? Sunlight bad. You may be a Gyaru, but I'm a Gyothru. That is a very weeb reference. I mean, it's a Japanese game, so, you know. Game saved. I don't know if that's all we're meant to do here or not, but um, you can now save here. There's no limited saves. You can save as much as you like. The previous game did have limited saves, but this one does not. I'm not entirely sure if I've triggered the thing I need to trigger yet, but we'll find out, I guess, in a minute. All right. I'm just going to smash E around here a few more times. Doesn't look like anything's going to happen. All right. So we're going to ignore the guy that said wait there, by the way. Because that's a waste of time. And now we have a tutorial on hiding, which is something we'll be doing a lot. 
You need to hide. Quick. What? Hide behind something and hold your breath. Now. I will say the hiding works relatively well. Although sometimes the ghosts don't leave. At all. They just sort of bum around outside, which is really annoying. That pretty little face. Chubby cheeks. Oh my god, so cute. Shame about the cavernous void of a mouth, but you know. Still, good stuff. We're tutorial on hiding now. They're all awake now, and you know that you're in a park. You need to be a lot more careful from here on. I've uploaded some information that will help you to your notes. Read them carefully. How do you know all this? Why are you helping me? Like I said before, I've been in the same position you are in now. I just want to help people like you. Like me. When a spirit's chasing you, keep an eye out for glowing moonlight moss. You can use those to hide. When you're hiding, your health recovers, which is very handy. And you use the left and right keys. Um, there we go. So that's the main thing that's going to be happening here. You see the ghosts there? They're going to be pretty persistent. They give up fairly easily. And I believe their movement speed has been tweaked to be more manageable since I last played it as well. Which is good because they were so, so annoying before. Um, but essentially... They are now, like, going to be a constant hassle to deal with as we play. And it's not the end of the world, but it is somewhat annoying and obnoxious. Alright. I don't think I should enter this bathroom. The ceiling's likely collapsing inside and unsafe. Be careful, Kachan. Yeah, I want this, though. Oh, that's just a light. I thought it was something else. Okay, so now it's time to start gathering things to escape the park. And things are going to get fairly annoying fairly quickly. This machine here is what we need the coins for. Oh, the vending machine's badly vandalized and damaged. I wonder if there are any coins left in the coin return. I found a 100 yen coin. Want to check again? Yeah. I found a gacha coin. I got a gacha coin. So this clock here is going to be really important for later on. There's a large clock here. I think about it look as out of place? Not really. And the ghost is still on me, by the way, because he's a fucking arsehole. Um, but yeah, like, the ghosts will not leave me alone now, pretty much. And they will be on my ass the whole time. Another Koa Shinbun. In 2084, several decades without a known disappearance, the Toshima City Council voted unanimously to reopen the park by 2086, and announced that they would begin renovations in 2085. The reopening renewed interest in the legend online, and in recent months, several young people have snuck into the park late at night to take the Midnight Door Challenge. However, no paranormal evidence has been caught, and the legend is largely believed by current board members to have been hysteria, or if real, the curse has since faded away. According to the Tashima City Council, the Midnight Door will be sectioned off and kept hidden from the public. Okay. Makes sense. But who exactly is Akiku, and what invoked her wrath? Our top research team has spent the last two years going over every record and piece of information possible to find out the truth. We even hired some overseas net divers with a special interest in cases like these to dig up anything we could. Here are the results of our investigation and what we firmly believe to be the truth behind the midnight doors. Curse. Spooky dooky. All right, he didn't actually hit me, which is amazing. Um, over here. Okay, 600 yen to buy yourself a drink. What do you want to get? We want beer. Get the beer. You never know when alcohol will come in handy. Sounds like a good idea. You need to put six more coins in. Well, we have five currently. I guess I should just, like... Can I just drop these here? Until I find the others? Yeah, I did. Okay, perfect. Fantastic news, guys. There's a note on the door here. Let's read this. There's a note on the maintenance here. I don't, I've read that. There's a note here to the maintenance crew. What does it say? Something about a clock. I'll upload to the notes tab. All maintenance staff. The security pin pad by the west gate has shorted out due to a faulty battery. While renovations are ongoing, we're not able to manually open the gates. Frustratingly, due to Toshima City Council's historic restoration policy, the original gate lock mechanism will be repaired instead of replaced. 
as you know, the gate was designed by a famous artist and puzzle maker and is such as unnecessarily complicated and arbitrary. When you arrive in the morning, please set the clock to 2300, wait for the gate to close, then remove the gear. Place the gear in its usual hiding spot to avoid loss or damage during the day. To leave the park in the evening, replace the gear and set the clock to 4am. Once the gate is opened, set the clock to 2255 to begin the closing sequence. This will give you 5 minutes to exit the park before it's closed. Once we have the new security pin pad installed, the clock will need to be set to the appropriate time and you will need to slide your ID to open the gate when you need. Thank you for your patience and understanding. Sounds awful, doesn't it? That's what we need to do. There's a padlock on the door. I wonder if I find something useful inside. I'll need a code. Keep an eye out for anything with a four digit number. Okay, we don't have that at the moment. Keep looking for the code, Kachan. It's not possible to guess the answer. I mean, it might be possible. If you're smart. The ladies restroom looks open. Got a guy? Don't, you'll make it smell worse. Please stop talking. All right. Another magazine here. It's part four of eight of the Kawa Shinbun. I wonder if we'll find all the issues here. By 2035, 44 people have mysteriously disappeared in the same way, all linked to having performed the ritual of what had been named the Ikebukuro Midnight Door. When two small children went missing in the same way in 2036, the Tsushima City Council closed and condemned the park. Leaked internal messages from the councilwoman acknowledged the disappearances as the primary reason for the park closing. The documents also made mention of a secret exorcism to be held in the coming week. Four days after the scheduled exorcism, three members of the city council believed to be the... Uh, the Believed to be at the exorcism had disappeared, and the priest who performed the ritual was found dead in apparent suicide by hanging. It is rumoured the temple had to be treated for an infestation, but this is not confirmed. The original bathroom in which Akiku's body was found was demolished immediately after that supposed exorcism. However, each crew that was hired to complete the demolition would mysteriously fall ill or have family emergencies. So the door itself and front walls still remain in the park. A shrine was built on the overlook in an attempt to honour the souls of those who've gone missing, and hopefully put the spirit of Akiku to rest. Dun dun dun! Alright. Hey guys, I think I should check the sink. Yeah, why not? Uh, there's a Hanako ghost in the toilet. It seems the water's been turned off. If you find the access pipes, I can probably walk you through turning it back on. Good idea, I'll keep an eye out. So there is a Hanako ghost in the loo here. Um, which we can play around with, but... Will I just pick up? Oh, I dropped the wrong things, by the way. The wrong gacha things, I think. No idea what I just picked up there, though. Something. Fantastic. What did I just pick up from there? A wrench. Ah, oh, I think I know what that's for, guys. So turning the water on is one of our priorities here. Still there? We aren't going anywhere, Kaho. What's up? I think there's a different spirit here. I'm not quite afraid of it. I think it's just sad. It's like I can feel its loneliness. Satori no Hanako-san. Her story's pretty messed up, but to think it happened in the same park as Akiku? Crazy. I thought she could travel to any bathroom in Japan. How else could we have her in our middle school too? Kibuchi-san, I sometimes worry about you. What? Why? The seven wonders of Hanayomi Middle School were real. Kaho and I spent years studying them. Guys, can we argue about this later? Hi, Hanako. How's it going? Got her. Nice job. We have more than enough evidence to prove the existence of ghosts once and for all. I added the recent Koa Shinbun article to your notes tab, Kaho. It's pretty relevant here. Okay, Hanako story. In the mid-1950s, an urban legend began to spread throughout Japan in which the vengeful spirit of a young girl haunts the toilet stall at the far end of her specific restroom in the local school. Hanako will supposedly appear to you and ask if you would play with her, answering no, seems to be consistently bring misfortune, while answering yes as varying outcomes from good to bad. While one Hanako legend of the Saka may trap you in the spirit realm, another, Hanako in Totori, may simply play a game with you and thank you for your time. Interestingly, reports and evidence of the spirit popped up in dozens of cities over the decades, with stunningly similar accounts aside from the results of playing with her. Over time, the legend morphed to include multiple explanations of Hanako's presence being in different schools throughout the country. Much like a yokai, Hanako was never a living person, is instead a demon or monster taking the form of a little girl to trap its victims. Each school's Hanako is therefore unique and individual, also explaining why slight variations in the legend exist beyond an origin point. The widespread reach of the legend is to give the Hanako spirit enough power to create a spirit portal, which the singular Hanako uses to enter restrooms throughout Japan. 
This also accounts for how she's been seen in hospitals, parks, and even office buildings. Post-World War II, many children were victims of famine, sickness, and even abuse or kidnapping. The classic hairstyle and red dress were extremely popular at the time, also leading to the idea of multiple spirits. It is not impossible the spirits of many young girls simply attached their energy to a nearby building like a school. The popularity of the urban legend could have invertedly assigned the name Hanako to those coincidentally similar ghosts, perhaps even liking them more into some kind of larger and more powerful network-like entity, linking them. It's impossible, of course, to know the truth about our research has led us to personally lean towards C, as several Hanako legends can in fact be linked to true local stories. This also would explain how new Hanako can seemingly be created from both traumatic events and fake urban legends gaining power from belief. What about you? Did your school have a Hanako-san as one of its seven wonders? Have any of you seen a Hanako-san spirit outside of a school? While researching this ghost, we actually found some evidence of a Hanako-san haunting the toilet of a small park in Tokyo. But we have more questions about that specific instance before we can share more with you. If you do have a story or some evidence, make sure to send it in. We would love your help with solving the mystery of Tori no Hanako-san. No idea how you say that T-word, by the way. But yeah, there is another ghost in the toilets here, by the way, that we can deal with. But uh, for now, we need to leave. I can't explain it, but I think the spirit that was in here left. Isn't that norm? This, however, is not. Hi, Akiki. For now, let's go back up and save. Because it's been a little while, and I'm concerned. Okay. So, I went and saved. Now we have a water system to turn on. Which is wondrous. So let's do that. The complex looking system of pipes back here. It's probably the valves to the bathrooms and water fountains. So, probably nothing of interest for me here. Except, we do need to turn the water on. So. Oh, Wally, I found the water pipes and got a wrench. What should I do? Great. Based on what I'm seeing, you'll need to re release pressure on the right valves to make sure the pipes don't burst. Wouldn't that make some pretty loud noise? If she does it correctly, not really, no. Kaho, just even out the pressure on the meters there. Only one of them should be at 100%, but any of the three should work. She's doomed. I've got this handled. This isn't true, by the way. Like, this puzzle seems to be completely, like, incorrect in how it does. I think we need to do the right-hand column. Might take me a few tries, but we'll skip ahead. And when I'm done, you guys can see me uh, be victorious. I think we've got this one really easily this time. I think I know what to do. This should do it. There we go. Done. I did it! I'm actually shocked! See, I told you you should be fine the farm with me next summer. Alright, the water is now back on. Which is... Very numb. We have some other areas we can go to and explore. A Kiku's probably gonna be around though, so we're gonna have some fun. And probably die? But we'll see. Maybe we won't. Maybe we'll just be numb. Just gonna realize I don't need these at the moment. So you can just stay there for now and we'll pick you up on the way back, all right? Because I need one more coin. I don't know where that last coin is. I've yet to find it. I'm guessing there's like a camera angle that I've missed somewhere or something like that. But uh, fingers crossed we find it. ASAP. All right, let's head into this area. There's ghosties here, but um, you know. Not that big a deal, at the present, anyway. See the little doll? There's a little doll running away. So that doll is for a side quest that we probably should do, but still. A screwdriver is holding, pinning a weird doll to the tree. Looks like a wire ninja, don't touch it. Unfortunately, I may need the screwdriver, I'll have to risk it. At least don't run with it in your hands. How clumsy do you guys think I am? Nobody answered that. Alright. So we have the screwdriver now in our inventory. And we have a water fountain here that we can get a drink out of later on. Well, not a drink. We can get water out of later on. We've got another Magatama. I will say, I haven't lost anywhere near as many Magatamas as I did last time to the uh, ghost, which is really good. I got electrical tape. This will come in handy for sure. We use it on the farm just about everything since duct tape's too expensive. Alright, so we have electrical tape. Very useful, probably. What are you looking at the garbage for? She really is a raccoon. I think I pref think she preferred Tanuki. I was just checking for useful items, besides. I'm an otter. Okay, that was the first Magatama loss because I got stuck on the bin. 
So the doll has run away and face palmed into the lake here, which is excellent. I got the last coin, which I did not find last time. I do wonder if they were glitched last time. I really do. Um, anyway, I got the last coin I need. Um, so we can pick up the rest of them and get the beer out of the machine. So let's go and do that. The doll is for a side quest involving the umbrella. I think I am going to try and do it because apparently it's been fixed, according to the dev. But I think I'll save just before I pick up the umbrella and then sort of wing it is the plan. Okay. If a Kiku's around, I'm going to have to deal with her as well, obviously. All right, we'll pick up the coins here. If I can see them. Okay, we got them all. They should go in the machine now, and I should be good. Assuming I can use the machine without fucking dying, obviously. Everything else I'm going to probably drop near the shrine. Until I know what it's for. That makes sense? I think it makes sense. All right. Putting all them in. Got it. Still a year too young to drink this back in Miami, but here in Japan, don't worry when you get back, I'll buy you a milk at the bar. Now's not the time. Akika probably heard that noise. You're right, taking the beer. I'm going to the shrine, by the way, to save. I have absolutely no idea what the beer is for, but we will assess everything in a second. Oh, see that blue orb to the right there? I was going to cut this bit out, but then I realized that the orbs are around now. So these orbs will aggro onto you, fly into you, and do crazy damage. They apparently have been nerfed because they were so bad, they would hit you from off screen constantly and just wreck you. And they apparently have a much lower aggro range now, uh, which is awesome. I think they're harder in New Game Plus. They mentioned something about red orbs for New Game Plus. But um, regardless, I got to the save again. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we have the lighter, we have a screwdriver, we have the duct tape, and we have a bottle of beer. I think I know what I need to do. I think we need to make a Molotov cocktail. Like, legit. But, for now, I'm going to drop everything here so we can assess the situation. I'm going to go and do the doll side quest, and hopefully it will actually work. And then we'll, uh, we'll figure stuff out. Okay? So here we go. Okay, so we're heading this way for, like, the first time. Um, since the park went to shit. You can see the lady there by the tree. I don't know if I can take a picture of her or not. Oh, hi. How's it going? She's there, yeah. Uh, anyway, we're going to take this umbrella. An umbrella. It's hard to explain. The red color doesn't look it's from dye. Scary. If you take it, just make sure to put it back here when you're done. So before I wouldn't let me do that, that was a huge issue. Remember, don't leave the park with it either. The number one rule of Urbex is don't take anything. Okay. So now there is an eye icon there to show you where to put it. That should make things easier. Okay, we've made it back to where the lake is, and the little doll is lying face first in the water. We're going to use the umbrella to get the doll. Got it, the doll is super creepy. Check this out. God, I hate dolls. Put it away! That's funny. Alright, so now I'm going to go and gently return the umbrella to the nice lady in the raincoat. So, um, she doesn't kill me. If you don't, if you drop the umbrella... Okay, this is active now. It's rusted over, I'm sure it works fine, but it may be noisy. Okay, so if we need clean water, we have to come here now. Now the water is on, just to point that out too. Oh fuck, Akiku's here. Where is she? I actually don't know, but I'm going to hide anyway. So the minigame just basically has you do this. And then you wait, and they're gone. Usually if Akiku's following you and you do the minigame successfully, she like despawns, or like just completely fucks off. Which is very handy. She can, she can move at quite a big speed when she wants to. But yeah, we're going to drop the umbrella off. Save. And then we'll do the thing with the doll. 
uh, for the for the optional ghost. Oh, uh, Akiku's here, so I might die anyway. Hi! Wow, she is, uh... I said I was going to go and drop the thing off, but I guess that isn't happening right now because I'm shitting myself. I think I got away? I did get away. What the fuck? Well, I guess I'll do the doll thing first, seeing as she's like... She was like on my ass, and I'm right here. As the doll thing is optional, let's pop in the toilets and do the doll thing. Here we go. Hi, how's it going? I couldn't figure out where to take the photograph of this ghost last time, but we'll 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 see. So the ghost is in the toilet. The door is locked from the inside, they can't open it. I used to do this a lot of public restrooms when I was a kid. Lock the door, then climb through the foot gap as a prank. Kinda messed up now I think about it. How many accidents do you think you caused? I don't want to think about the bad karma I've created. So we use this here, the doll. Maybe this will make her happy. Try taking a photo when you get a chance. Thinking we can prove two urban legends in one night? So I couldn't figure out where to take a photo here. Okay. I put the doll through the door. And then there's nowhere to really take a picture. You can see the dolls, the dolls on the floor down there, but I don't see any more ghosties, you know, and it doesn't like open the door a crack or something. It just seems to like, basically just like fuck off really. But regardless, maybe something will happen if I come back later on. I'm not gonna spend hours trying to trigger this ghost. So I'll check the toilet in a little bit. We now have to get back and drop the umbrella off and I don't want to go and save until I've got the umbrella out of my hands in case it bricks my save like it did before. So, um. Bear with me, guys. Okay. I got her with a Magatama just then. Um, I have no Magatamas left, but I did get her with one. Alright, so here. This is where it might go to shit. Use the umbrella. Thank you for letting me borrow it. Okay, thank fuck. I think we did it. Okay. Gonna have a look around the playground while I'm here and then go back and save. Attempt to go back and save. Without getting killed. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. A dirty rag. You might need it at some point, you should take it. Pretty sure this is going to be for, like, the Molotov cocktail. Hey, that gear looks a bit out of place. Yeah, the center gear is more ornate. Maybe you can get it out somehow? Be careful, though, these things are noisemakers. At this time of night, the sound will carry pretty far. Maybe you can lubricate the gears a bit to avoid making too much noise. I'll give it a shot. I don't know what we have for lubricant. I don't think we have any lubricant at the moment. You know, because, uh... The enemies are assholes. Alright, regardless. I don't think there's too much else here at the moment. We definitely need the gear, so we need lube. There's like a guy digging in the ground over there, by the way. Never did figure out what he's for. But while I'm being pursued without any Magatamas, it's probably not a good idea to hang around here. So I'm going to head back and save, and then we're going to assess our equipment and what we're going to do. Alright, see you guys in a second. Okay, so we combined this into this to make the, um... What, it, what is this? I don't even know what this, what's been left over. I got like a bottle cap left over, I guess? And we have duct tape and the screwdriver still, and the lighter is on the floor. So I'm going to drop a few more of these things again, just over here. I'm going to drop the screwdriver for now, and I'm going to drop the, um, tape. The cloth is in the Molotov cocktail, that's going to be a Molotov cocktail anyway. We have the lighter, so if we combine that with that, we get a Molotov cocktail. I think I know what that's for, by the way. And we have the two other items here that I'm going to leave for a minute. We're going to just drop another save if it lets me. Perfect, and I will be back with those items shortly. But I think I know what the Molotov cocktail's for, guys, and I'm going to demonstrate it. So, I ended up... Um, doing a bit of exploration off camera to try and make the video go a bit smoother. I didn't want to show me just fucking around for hours and hours. Like, I want to try and do more research on things and put together, like, a, a smoother playthrough for you guys. Oh, God, we're being chased by the orb. Um, a moister playthrough for you guys. These playthroughs are always moist, I know. 
Especially with a character that looks like this. But anyway, there is a path that I didn't even know existed, that I never explored on stream, and is the answer to quite a few of my problems. Oh, this thing is... Okay, it gave up. Well, I said it gave up. It exploded. Gave up, exploded, same thing. Alright, so there's, there's two things I need to do here very quickly, okay? Number one, we're going to grab these co the gacha coins that I have. Oh, fuck. Grab them. Alright. I'm also going to just pop back this way, because I think there's another one that I didn't pick up. And then, we're going to go down the path and use the Molotov cocktail, I think, to um, hopefully kick some, uh, kick some ass, is the plan. Uh, and give us access to, like, the entrance of the park again. Like, open up that full loop round that I couldn't open up before. I hope that makes sense. I think it does. But I never know. If a Kiku's here, it could be in shit, by the way. Um, no Magatamas at the moment. That said, she's been pretty chill in the grand scheme of things. Way chiller than she was last time. I don't know if she got nerfed. Alright, so this wouldn't open before, but now it will. Okay. First of all, we got a Koa Shimbun to read. News of the spread around the internet quickly. Popular image board website Shichan.jp became the nexus of the growing urban legend, birthing a challenge where one would visit the walking park and knock on the door to the bathroom at exactly midnight. One would then take a photo of themselves in front of the door and say aloud, Akiku, Akiku, will you let me in? Dozens of photos would pour in every month, most of which were deemed fake by the board's users. However, several photo takers mysteriously disappeared, leaving behind infestations of centipedes where they lived. In each of these photos, the door to the bathroom would be cracked open. Some would swear the eye could be seen in the darkness, but this was extremely contentious, as while some claimed they could see it, the vast majority of users disagreed. No explanation for this was ever given, but many claim it was a result of people who are more aware of the spirit world versus those who are closed. Okay, so there's a phone here. Hey, phone's dead. I almost felt driven to the phone, weird. You shouldn't mess with it, Kaho. A friend of mine from middle school got spirited away by a Satoru-kun. What? Koa! Ignore him and stick with the task. I actually thought there were some coins in the slot of this, but I guess not. Like, do I need to... Hmm... Can I put the bottle cap in? Nope. Oh well. I guess we'll come back. Regardless, we got another Koa Shinbun. And now, we're gonna head down this way again. If a Kiku gets on my ass, there is a hiding spot down here. But I'm hoping she doesn't. I don't know, like, her full radius, if that makes sense. Like, she seems to just show up when she wants to, and... You know... Whatever the fuck she wants to do. Alright, so this is the area that I never, ever figured out was here, and I'll show you why. So you go past the shrine here, okay, and you're walking along here, okay? You go here. See? Oh, great. Oh my god, I dodged it. Those are definitely much easier to manage now. Alright, and this should take us to the construction area. The tunnel door is covered in centipedes, look at this, guys. Whoa! No, don't send more pics. What the hell? This isn't the type of centipede I've ever seen. Are you sure? Yeah, 100%. I don't think this is a known species. She's right. I cross-referenced your pic with known species in Asia. No hits. Kawaii. Oh, the any ideas from the farm? Fire. The further away from them you can get the better, then kill them with fire. That's how we deal with poisonous spiders in our scrap piles. Think the groundskeeper stashed a flamethrower anywhere? Sounds like it's going to have to think outside the box a bit. Well, we have a Molotov. I did it! I can't believe I made a bomb! I can't believe you survived making and using a bomb! Don't worry, Kaho. I'll show my dad all of this and you won't get any trouble for making a bomb. I wasn't worried about that until just now. Well, go- where you go, Kaho? I'll post bail, but I'm a poor farm girl. Can you guys focus? You should be worrying about the ghost hearing that explosion. Alright, so we I've never been here. This is all new. Well, this is bad. Took damage there. Which is not good. 
possibly scripted though. First time I've actually taken damage apart from dying to a Kiku in the whole playthrough actually. What did I pick up? A key card. Okay, well we have that now. No idea, well I do know what it's for, it's for exiting the park, which is excellent, but... Some wire is on the latch, can you get it off? I think so, got it. 8888. Eight, eight. I'm guessing that was just like a celebration thing instead of anything relevant whatsoever. Alright, so... This is where I dropped the gacha coins. Can you pick up the thing? Yep. Yeah. I've got six coins, how many do I actually need? I'm just gonna just check, I don't think I'm gonna get all these. It's what, a, a creepy gacha machine. Looks like swimsuits are in there. I think they've been worn already. Oh, just change your name to Chin Chin Chan. I think that means like pervert or something. Twitch chat taught me that. I think I want one. Then you need 12 coins. I have six. I think you need to put in the gacha coins. Well, the chances of me finding all the 12 are pretty slim, I feel. But okay. Hang on, what the fuck is this? Oh, they got a wire as well. I wish I could like actually see what stuff is. Like, it, I wish I had like a label because I'm still not entirely sure what some of this stuff is, you know. But I have a, 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 the wire from the fence and that, whatever it is. All right, I'm gonna do a lap, guys. Possibly die to a Kiku in the process. Actually, there's a Mega Tama there, so I might not. And just do a little exploration around and then we'll try and figure out what all this stuff is for. See you in a second. Alright guys, so right now, I'm heading over to the water pump, because I think we need to wash the blood off the ID to maybe get the password to the door to get inside. That would make sense. Don't know how difficult it's going to be. I also want to try and take a photograph of the phone booth, because they mentioned a ghost by name there. And it makes me wonder if there's a ghost, like, in the phone booth, if that makes sense. Yeah, late like now. The phone is still dead, but it was just ringing, wasn't it? Spooky dookie. Oh, the people, the drawings in there, the, uh, the, the things on the sub pictures are really fucking scary. Definitely something creepy going on with the phone booth. I wonder if we return to it X number of times, shit's gonna go down. It's definitely possible, right? Okay, anyway, let's go and wash off the ID. I have two Magatamas on me at the moment, by the way, which uh, I'm probably gonna lose rapidly, but at least, you know, they're there. Uh, which is something. Every time I use one of these pieces of the way, it's like, oh, the ghost can hear you. But I've yet to have her show up while I've been doing it, and I don't know why. All right, we washed it off. There, I cleaned off the ID card. Why? Was there anything under the blood? It's a number written on it, but I think it's written backwards. I wonder what it's for. Careful, Carho, that pump was pretty loud. All right, well, there's a ghost that just showed up, I guess. So that's something. Okay. We have a new mechanic, it looks like. Hands coming out the floor suddenly. Potentially for us to run into, I'm gonna guess. Which is, uh... Potentially gonna be really dangerous for my survival. Because I'm guessing if you touch him, you're fucked. Yeah, and again. I thought it was going to. Still dead. Just leave it alone, Carho. Um. Hi. Why doesn't that count as a picture? That's kind of weird. Why doesn't it let me take that picture? It's like a little baby ghost. See? It's right there. 
Why doesn't that count? Am I at the wrong angle or some shit? I really want to take a picture of it. It looks adorable. It's like a little bubby. Oh, I can't take a picture through the side. That's a shame. Like, I see you. Okay, that's weird, the way it shrinks when you zoom in. Yeah, this seems really glitchy. I don't really know what to make of this. Like, it should just be, it touches it, that's it. You know. One last shot, and then I'll move on, guys, don't worry. Nah. Oh well. That's a shame. I don't know why it doesn't work like that. There seems to be a lot of problems with the ghost photos, in particular. Ah, I should probably look at the ID, right? 8120 is the code. Alright, 8120 is the code. Let's go and open the closet here. No idea if we're going to still need the ID or not, but we'll see. didn't count? I said it was backwards, yeah. Zero two one eight? I'll try it one two zero one more time. Eight one No. Okay, so I'll try zero. What the fuck am I doing wrong here? What the fuck? Okay, I had to look this up because I was so confused. It's 8150 because the 2 looks like a 5. There we go. Got it. Let's go in. Alright. Oh yeah, my inventory is full. Uh, what don't I need right now? I hear a Kiku singing outside. Put my head out a second. Let's drop this here, the ID. Come back for it. I think I know what these bolt cutters are for, which is good. Pick them up. Okay, what, there we go. Okay, we've got bolt cutters. Potentially really useful. Gonna drop a bunch of stuff here. I'm guessing a lot of these things are probably going to just be used for, like, um, uh, optional stuff, but I don't know. I'll leave them there for now like that. I'm going to go and save, but then I'll be back when I'm using the bolt cutters, guys. So, we're going to head over to the area now where the, um, uh, the bolt cutter thing needs to be done. I'm hoping we find the lubricant in there to get the gear, because once we've got the gear, and I think we use the screwdriver to get the battery from the radio, I think that is pretty much everything we need. Oh, this is new. Shit. Hi, Akiki. You've been fairly persistent lately. Uh, not persistent lately, sorry. The opposite of persistent. Nom. That's, that's the word. Alright. This is going to be bad. Okay. Well, I lost the thing already to the orb because I didn't couldn't tell where it was with depth perception, but that's okay. Oh, there's a hiding spot just there. Oh my god, get to the hiding spot, get to the hiding spot, get to the hiding spot, get to the hiding spot. Oh god, I fucked up. Just gonna fuck off now anyway. Go away. There you go. Well, I lost both my Magatamas there, guys, which is not a good situation to be in. But, um... Hey, at least she's gone, I guess. That was just... I was so close to the spot. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we can use the bolt cutters on this gate here. The one I ignored at the start. Padlock's rusted over. Okay, well, I don't care if it's not of immediate importance. Yep, there we go. Very handy. I'm wary about running. Because of ghost hands and shit. Alright, we've got a Magatama here. It's another dodge back on the menu. What else do we have? 
Some kind of panel, what do you guys think? It's a security box, similar to the ones at Dad Station. It might be good to keep this place in mind. You can open it later if you need to. Or can I just use the screwdriver on it? Okay, so I don't know if I can use it. I'll try one more time using the screwdriver, but... Nah, she's just saying the same shit. Alright, what else is here? There's something shining on the fucking chair! What did I get? Oh, gacha coin. Well, I can drop that off in a second. That's not too, that's not a big deal. Um, what else, though? Got lubricant! Okay, so we can get the gear. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Alright. I think that's the important things that we got from here. I'll go and drop the coin off. We may die here a few times, but I haven't died since the opening now, so I'm due a death at some point, I feel, you know. And with the fairly persistent ghosts around here, you know, I feel it's inevitable at some point. We'll get to the playground, we'll use the oil, then we'll go to the radio. See, th those respawn, by the way. They respawn slower than they did before. Before, they were like rapid fire. But, um, yeah, I'm nowhere gonna get all the coins, guys. And I'm not even gonna focus on doing it, if I'm honest with you. Like, much as I am a big fan of, um, anime girls in bikinis... It's not a priority at this point. Okay. I've got- getting past this without losing my Magatama, however, is a priority at this point. Yes. Alright. Head to the play area. Oil the gear. Get the gear. And I think if we have the battery, I, th I don't know if we need the battery or not, but she seemed to say it was important. She was like hovering over it, right? Like, battery. I keep thinking they're Magatamas, but they're not. They're just like, lights. Okay, well, the hands didn't get me, so that's good. That's where the gear is in the middle. It's very disorientating, this area, I will say. Like, it's crazy disorientating. I should use the gears much quieter. Be careful! Oh, shit. Okay, did I do it? Inventory. I got a gear. Great, fantastic. Now I need to book it. Alright. Battery. Save point. Figure out what the fuck I need to do by reading the note again. Win. Okay, that's the plan, alright guys? Oh, this is- this is- okay, that one just exploded, thank fuck. You fuck off. I guess- I- I guess I can't use it? Oh, fuck you! God, that's so obnoxious. I lost my last Magatama. And I think the last one that I'm gonna find, if I'm honest with you. Oh God, I hate those things so much. All right, well, let's see if we make it to the save point in one piece, and then we can figure out what on earth I have to do to get out of this park. While I'm here, I'm gonna risk not saving here. This is probably a really bad call by me, but fuck it. Um, we're gonna go over here. So the gear goes in here, likely? You need the, the ID. Okay, we need the ID first to swipe it. Okay, that's fine. Something about setting the clock as well, that I have no idea what to do with. But we'll figure it out. Okay, so the situation definitely seems to be we need to... It's to do with those panels. But we have the panel by the main gate. We have the panel uh, in the uh, area we unlock with the bolt cutters. And we have the battery operated radio, which is definitely going to be used for something. I don't know why I can't do anything with it at the moment. It's pretty annoying. But I'm hoping that we'll be able to, like, figure out. I think we just need to look at the right... Fuck. Fuck! Okay. Probably dead here. I have no things at all. There is a, there is a hiding spot just here, if I can just survive. Go. Go, 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 go. Oh, fuck me. Don't know if she's still around or not. 
Yeah, she definitely is like a hero. Hopefully she just goes. She tends to just bolt eventually once uh, you've hidden, if that makes sense. All right. So we use the ID over here, which I do have with me right now. And then we'll hopefully get some contextual clues on what we need to do next. Because right now, it's it's a lot of like, oh, you haven't done this, so you have to backtrack, which I do not like. Ease. Got it. The security pad powered down. The security pad is likely connected to a main box somewhere else in the park. Maybe you can find it. I'd look for somewhere that only employees have access to. Well, we know where to go now. So I'll see you there. Uh, hopefully, without dying. Well, I just got hit by a fucking orb that was around a corner. And I think I might be dead. Come on. Oh, maybe not. Looks like I've gotten away. Jesus Christ. The amount of stuff happening is definitely getting crazier now. Like, the hands, the, um... Uh, Kiku, everything seems more persistent than it was. Which, you know, we're further in the game. I think we're getting towards the end of the game, actually. So, you know, I'm not overly surprised by this. Of course she's here. She has been so more persistent now. And I hate her. I absolutely hate her. I understand she's having a crap time, but like, holy shit. I'm just trying to get through the place. You know, have a good time, relax. Yeah, okay, it's good that she does that. And we got rid of the orb. Jesus Christ. I feel like she's gonna show up again really quick though, like, that was three minutes between spawns, if that. Alright, so this must be the main power box. So main security power, but it looks damaged. If you open it up, I can help. We need a screwdriver. Fortunately, I have it with me. Got it. All opened up. What's the problem? Looks like the battery pack is missing, but I also need to use a security card. Great. So we need to go and get the security card and the battery pack. I'm going to drop the screwdriver here. Let's go and get the... Actually, I'll take it with me for now. Let's go and get the battery pack first. And then... The security card. Because I, I, I dropped that. I'm going to have to do a full loot, but maybe I can save on the way. Fuck. Everything about this is getting terrifying now. Like, I'm without a doubt going to take a hit from the ghost by the radio. Because it just... It's just too close to the radio to do anything about. But I'm more worried about Kiku than anything else. Alright, so battery. Radio. I don't know if I'm going to need... The, um... The screwdriver to get the battery out. If I don't, I'm going to drop it over there. Well, actually, no, I'll drop it on the main path, maybe. But we'll see what we need first. Fucking hell. Alright, well that missed me, that's good. The dude is not good though, and he is right here. I'm not sure he saw me. There's a battery up in radio. Depending on the type of battery, you might be able to rig it to the pin pad on the gate. Looks like D-type. Perfect. With some wire, electrical tape, and something to cap the battery, we plug the pin pad. Okay, I'll take it with me. My backpack's full. That's fine. Drop this here. Okay. But I need the ID as well. I need to be able to swipe the ID. So, here's the plan. Okay, guys, this is an elaborate ruse, all right? But this is the plan. We're going to go back to the shed. We're going to drop all the things that we need in the shed, then go and get the ID, save, and come back. All of that without a Kiku showing up sounds very implausible. I'm going to be real. But you never know. You never know. Maybe we'll get lucky. It's very unlikely. This is me. I wonder if we can actually do this ship quickly first, like use them, or is it going to insist that I use the keycard first? 
I guess we'll find out. It's worth a shot, right? Okay. I need something else to fix the circuit. Oh, I need the keycard with... Oh, shit. I need it with me. Hang on, hang on, hang on. What did they say? Notes. Can I read? No, 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 no. Chat. Chat. Wire, electrical tape, and something to cap the battery. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I did use the battery. Shit. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to go and get the key card still, but I've got like a... One of these. God, I hate these. Why can't I only turn these a certain number of times? Like, they get locked. What? This is weird. I don't get why I can only turn this X number of times. That, like, is definitely not how this would normally work in one of these puzzles. Okay. This looks better than it did. But... Why can sometimes I turn them and sometimes I can't? It makes no sense at all. I don't get it. Okay, that's... Okay. That's one connected, I guess. But how do I connect two? Okay. Why can't I turn this one? I don't understand. This is going to take a while, guys. We'll be back in a minute. There we go. We got it. Didn't take too long. Kai, did you check the note from the main shed? You still need to set the clock in the rest area. Okay. I said we need the key card, but I guess we don't need the key card? Because the power is now restored, I believe? Probably? We have a lot more clearer inventory now. Alright, the most important thing right now is to get to a save point and not die. Which could prove to be beyond my capabilities. Let's find out. I really hope we do it. Get to the save, I mean. The gear and the key card are just lying around on the way this way I left them, so we can grab them, do the clock, and then hopefully just escape. That sounded like a key key. That sounded like a key key. Fuck. Please don't be here. Like, right now, all I need to do is get to the shrine, and I'll be happy, okay? Grab that. Grab that. Got the gear, and I got the keycard. I think that's all we need. Gonna go to the shrine and save, and then we'll assess the situation. Oh my god. I should get up here just fine, as long as I don't, like, fuck up like a complete moron. Don't. I probably will. We save. Oh my god, and then, and then we're almost done. Holy shit. So this game has, the true ending is locked behind New Game Plus, which I really don't like, because again, that is actually, okay, so, I'll have a proper talk about this at the end, but in some PS1 and PS2 horror games, it was locked behind a second playthrough, the true ending, right? It's not usually, but sometimes it is, right? So yeah, that's the bolt cutters. 
I mean, I may as well take him at this point, right? Because like, I don't think I've got. There's nothing. There's nothing. There's only three items left hanging around, so like, we can always just drop the bolt cutters whenever we need to. Save has been made. Holy shit! All right, now we need to set the clock with the gear in the clock. I think I can just go and do that now, and then we can just get the fuck out of here and have a wonderful fucking time and finish senses. Oh my god. Alright, now we're gonna use the gear here. Now to set the clock. I think it said 4am. So, zero... There you go, now open the gate. It's the home stretch, focus and get out. Okay. So the gate hasn't got power, so we now need to go to the maintenance area, like the employees only area, okay? And we need to... I just realized, I hope this is fucking recording. Oh my god, I hope this is recording. I haven't got a mouse cursor on my other screen to check. Fuck! Of course, of course I get hit by that when I'm on a time limit. It is recording. Excellent. Resume. Please, 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 please get your strength in the back. Because this is a time limit. We have five minutes. Alright, we go and swipe the key card. Okay. Then that should open the gate on the other side of the park. Then we need to run through the playground all the way around past the midnight door to the exit. Hopefully that little hit there won't have fucked us, but I've got a horrible feeling it might have done. But we just saved before we did the clock, so, you know, if I have to do it again, I have to do it again. Oh my god, this was, uh, interesting. It's gonna be a bad ending, like I said, because, uh, you have to beat the new game plus, and... I'm not gonna lie, people don't want to do that kind of shit these days, at least I don't. I don't know if it's just because I'm a YouTuber, but even on games that I play for, like, my own time, I never want to do a new game plus. It's boring as fuck playing the same thing twice. Okay, that was close. All right, swipe. Hang on, why, why did it do this? Hang on, did this break? I don't think so, right? This is right. This is pretty tough. Keep it sh- What? What did I do wrong? I thought I did it. Oh my god, I didn't do it? What the fuck is going on now? Got it. Okay, it was glitched. That was a completely annoying glitch. Okay, we swipe the card. The west gate is open. Fuck! I can't believe that glitch happened just there. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Something terrible is going to happen, obviously. Oh wow, it's playing a cutscene? We're so going to get got by a Kiku here. Yeah, we're not getting... <laughs> Shit, this animation! Oh my god, the fucking park's going insane! What the fuck? Yeah, we are dead, but that's okay. Because we need to get, like, a replay for the true ending. No! Kachan, are you okay? What happened? The signal's cutting in and out. Die, 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 die. Oh, we're still alive. For now. This is quite a comical run here. I'm guessing the door's gonna close and we're gonna have to go back through the midnight door or some shit. We're like, we're, it's like we're roller skating! Oh, maybe we will get out. Okay, shit! Oh, we're back at the door. It was all a trap. We're gonna get centipeded. <laughs> it's fucking music while this is going on. What the fuck? It's really weird. After all that, we died. Did. This is hot. So yeah, you need to replay on New Game Plus to get the good ending. Hey, at least it's an ending, I guess. But yeah, I don't, I dislike this kind of approach quite a lot. Anyway, that was Census Midnight. Uh, not a bad little game in the end. Uh, 
after the patch improvements, this was a lot more fun to play. And just a, just a generally much better experience. Um, it's probably a smoother experience than their first game, although I think their first game was overall a better game. Um, this is still not bad. I liked it. Um, my thoughts, okay. So I feel a lot of times when devs make PS1, PS2 horror games, they distinctly don't remember how they actually were. Or maybe it's just because I played most of them when I was older. So, like, I found them quite easy, but... A lot of PS1 and PS2 horror games are not that difficult, and a lot of these go for crazy difficulty. Now, this wasn't crazy difficult. It was originally, but it's been patched, right? Um, I don't like the multiple endings replay thing. It's just tedious and just seems to be like a, a bit of a waste of time for the most part. Um, but the overall gameplay was fun. The pacing was fine. Like, everything came together a lot better in this patch version of the game than when I originally played it on stream. So overall, not a bad experience. And I really, really uh, think that um, this has been a game that has been improved dramatically by some updates. So that's that's good news. Um, I do like these PS2 type things, but like I said, they're usually are often, they're often like pretty bullshit hard when the games weren't that hard. Like, Them and Us is another example of a really bullshit hard game that I should probably try and play again, but it's really frustrating sometimes to play. And same for Elisa. It's another game that is... N like, it claims to be Dark Souls level of difficulty. I've beaten pretty much all the Dark Souls games, all right? It's way harder than any of them. Like, it's insane, okay? So anyway, um, that said, since it's midnight, I do recommend it. I thought it was pretty fun. Maybe I'll do a second playthrough at some point to get the true ending. Especially now you know what you're doing, it shouldn't be as bullshit. Although I think the ghosts are harder on uh, New Game Plus. But generally speaking, this has been a fun experience. I, I think the ghosts, like the phone ghosts and the toilet ghosts, seem to be glitched. I don't know what's going on with them, but they're quite frustrating to deal with. The camera mechanic feels like it was just half assed implemented and not really polished. I know it's not key to the story, so it doesn't really matter. But I feel like it's just maybe a bit too much. It didn't, you know... If it doesn't work, don't put it in, basically. But overall, a fun little experience, and I definitely think it was worth playing. So yeah, anyway, that's Senses Midnight. Really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought in the comments section. Support our Patreon if you can to keep these long plays coming, and I'll see you soon for more video games of various spooky kinds. Have a wonderful rest of your day, Nomkins. See you later. Bye.